Hi, everybody. Guess where I am? I'll give you one guess. You're right. I'm back in Belize. And I just wanted you to see this gorgeous, balmy, windy day that's behind me. And I'm going to go and talk in my apartment. But I just wanted you to see this. Gorgeous. Welcome back to Belize. Okay, come on in with me. Hi. I wanted to sit in my chair and talk to you, but I, I had to show you the view. But this is better. You can probably hear me better. Anyway, today what I want to talk about with you today, I want to talk about, I just got off the phone call with um, a coaching client. And what we talked about the whole time was her weight. And this was because I actually had her do an exercise the week before of weighing herself one time in the morning, one time in the afternoon, and one time in the evening. The purpose of that was not to see how much weight she gained or lost. The purpose of that was to bring up any thoughts that she might have regarding the scale. Well, in the middle of the week, I got a letter back from her saying to me, Dr. Deb, this weighing thing isn't working for me. She felt miserable. And when I actually looked at her food journals, what I saw is that she had gained 1.8 pounds and she made it mean that her body was horrible, it wasn't working for her, nothing was working, and she was a mess. That's what she made 1.8 pounds mean, which was really the purpose of the scale, was just to bring up how we think when we get on a scale. So I said to her, you understand that if you had done this exercise and the scale went down 1.8 pounds and you would have been writing me and saying, oh my gosh, I love the scale exercise, it's wonderful, we would have had the exact same long conversation about the scale because the scale really doesn't have the power to make you happy or sad. It's your thoughts about the scale that has everything to do with it. And really what we talked about the whole time today was basically how to be able to love and accept your body as it is now with the exact number that you saw. It was such a difficult thing for her to do, which is why I talked about on this pod, I mean on this clip, especially is that you can't hate yourself then. I think many of my clients believe that if they hate their bodies, it will whip them into shape to stop eating, start exercising, and losing weight. How's that working for you? Most of the people that I come in contact with have already been doing that for 20 and 30 years, and they're still, still struggling with the same weight they always had. And now, of course, menopause, it's making it harder than ever to lose that weight. Right? So I think like what you've been doing and what you've been thinking has not work, been working for you. And like I said to my beloved client, who I do love today, is that I think the way that you're looking at the scale and what you're expecting of your body isn't working for you. You know, you've got to be able to accept it. If you accept your body, it doesn't mean that it can't change. It doesn't mean that you can't lose weight. It means you appreciate it for where it is right now. You don't hate your body thin. You love your body thin. You love your body through menopause, even though it has symptoms that you don't like. But this is what my client came up with today and that we talked about is that because your body is requiring so much of your attention, you actually have the option to really take very, very good care of it. Feed it when it's hungry. Stop eating when you're full. Take care of your emotions by feeling them, knowing that you can feel any emotion that you don't have to eat it. And more than anything else is that wherever you are right now, it's possible for you to be able to look in the mirror, put on your clothes, and accept what you feel and what you see. It is the biggest gift that you could give yourself. So that whatever you weigh today, whatever it is, whatever you think that number should be that it isn't, you have the ability right here and right now to love yourself then, not hate yourself then. And this is what I said to my client also today. I said, when you get off the phone to me, you're going to stand up and you're going to walk. And you're going to take that for granted because your body isn't thin enough for you to love it right now and appreciate it. But I said, do you know what? How wonderful that is that you can just get up without thinking about it, that you can walk wherever it is you're going and not even think about it. 
and you don't even give yourself or love your body for doing it. What if you came from the viewpoint of loving what you already have and wanting to take good care of it? What do you think about that? That's what I actually want you to do this week, is to see if you can get on the scale, see a number, regardless of the number, be able to think of something like, this is what I weigh today, without a lot of negativity or positivity. It's neutral. It's just a number. I understand that it's a tool, but that's all it is. It's one tool out of many tools that you'll be using. Another tool is to accept yourself and to love yourself the way you are as you are right this minute. This is what I challenge you to do. This is what I'm challenging her to do. You can't get to where you want to go if you can't accept yourself with where you are. Hi, Corinne. Karin. I'm not saying your name right. <laughs> Karin. That's right. I love you too, Karin. Anyway, Karin's on the phone, and she is a wonderful, wonderful coach that we just got to see each other with. She knows everything I'm talking about. She probably talks the same talk I talk. She knows what I'm talking about. That's what I want you to do is to love yourself or at least accept yourself. Even if you can't love yourself, I want you to start liking yourself, really. I want you to be able to get on the scale, see a number, and call it just what it is. So for my client, she saw a number. It was 1.8 pounds more than the day before. And according to her, it shouldn't be that way. It should be lower. How could she do gain 1.8 pounds in one day? What was she doing wrong? She wasn't doing anything wrong. It was just her body that day. That's all it really was. But you know what? It made her feel so bad that instead of treating her body better, she treated it worse. That's the problem. Okay. So, for this week, can you... If you can't love yourself then, can you like yourself then? Can you accept yourself to get thin? instead of hating yourself to be thin. That's what I want you to think about. Till next week. Bye-bye. I'll enjoy the beach. You enjoy wherever you are. Bye.